Hi art friends. I'm trying something a little bit different with my setup here. And this is also not a live video, but I'm gonna post it on YouTube and share it to the page. But anyway, today we're drawing a shark. I'm gonna show you um, step by step how to draw the shark and then we will paint it or color it whatever you want to do um, <clears throat> this is going to be um, this shark is going to we're going to see its um, its mouth really big it's like we're looking directly at the big shark's mouth so you're going to need a piece of paper I'm using just a piece of cardstock. You can use whatever paper you have. And I'm gonna use a black marker. If you wanna draw yours with a pencil first and then trace it with the black marker, that would be fine. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna to need to find the center top of our paper because that's gonna be, we're just gonna guess, but if you really want it to be accurate, you could fold it in half and put a mark, but so what I'm going to do is we're going to, we're going to say this is our middle and we're going to draw, we're kind of making an upside down V, but our shark head is going to take up pretty much our whole paper. So we're going to go from our center point down like that on one side and to and our center point down like that on the other side. So this is like our big shark head. Okay. Now, we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw his mouth at the bottom of our page, and we're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw a rainbow line from this side to this side, okay? So we're gonna see his big old mouth, and then we're gonna draw another rainbow line from this point, down to this point. So now we have our shark head and our shark mouth. Okay? And it'll make more sense as we go along what it's going to look like. But let's draw let's draw two two little nostrils right here at the top. And we're going to go ahead and color those in with our Sharpie or our black marker. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to draw a circle for his eye. And on the other side, a circle. And then we always want to put little highlights. So we're just going to put little circles like this. And then we're going to color in around it black. And I could have left a little bit more. That's okay. I'm going to go on this side and color in this one. Those don't look symmetrical, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I got to make this one look a little bit. I'm going to color that in a bit more. Like that. Okay, so there's our shark eyes. And now fun part drawing all of those teeth now sharks have a bunch of teeth so we're gonna start with his top row of teeth and it's it's gonna be triangles I'm gonna start here and we're gonna do triangles all the way like this up his up his mouth like this. And around. Okay. Turn it a little bit, make it easier. There's our there's our shark's top row of teeth. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Mm 
there. Okay, there's his bottom row of teeth. So, see our shark? He's looking at us with his teeth, and that's all that we're going to need our marker for right now. Now, I want to show you this book real quick. It's called Indescribable, 100 Devotions About God and Science, and it's by Louis Giglio, and they have a bunch of really cool animals and landscape and all kinds of nature things in here and it it uh so it talks about a something that god created and then it talk it gives you a little a scripture verse and a little devotion and so today we're going to be while we're doing our shark here we're going to be talking about the sharks and a scripture verse in there that's gonna that we're gonna be able to use to remember help us remember our sharks. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and paint mine. Um, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that while I talk about the shark in the scripture verse. But I'm going to use black and white paint. But if you don't have paint, that's okay. You can use markers or crayons or colored pencils or whatever. whatever. Oil pastels, whatever you have that you want to use would be fine. Alright, so what we're going to do with our with our black paint. This is just straight up black paint and we want to paint the inside of our shark's mouth. We don't want to paint his teeth. We want those to stay white. So we're going to carefully paint in between his teeth where this all this part of here that's going to be black. We're going to we're just going to carefully paint all of that black. Now, I'm using tempera paints. You might be using acrylic paints or craft paints. Or watercolor paints if you're using watercolor paints you really need to make sure that your black marker is waterproof so that would mean a permanent marker like a sharpie not like a washable marker you don't want to use a washable marker if you're using watercolor paints because that will smear it a little smear your paint and then you'll end up having some black teeth instead of white teeth now, if we think about, I'm getting into our, talking about a little bit of our uh, devotion from that book. When you think about sharks, probably one of the things you think about first are their teeth. Because sharks have a lot of sharp teeth. But there's something interesting that I think is interesting about the shark's teeth. And that is that they have several rows of teeth so they we have one row of teeth but sharks have several rows of teeth and they have so many teeth because they lose a lot of their teeth when they're eating their prey and so they lose a lot of teeth so they have to have a lot of teeth and it's interesting because um they, their teeth, when they lose one, a tooth that's in a row behind the one they lost, it'll push up a new tooth. And so a new tooth will come from behind where the tooth that was lost, and it'll push up and take the spot of the lost tooth. So that's pretty interesting. Now, some sharks only have five rows of teeth, which is still pretty cool. Five rows of teeth. When you think about it, that sounds like a lot. But some sharks have 50 rows of teeth. I can't, I don't even know how big his mouth would have to be to have 50 rows of teeth. But that's a lot. And I'm going to show you a picture in here. Hopefully you can see it. But look at these, look at these shark teeth here. There's a really small one, and then there's a really big one. It's the same same size as that as that person that's holding it. That's his hand. That's crazy big. So that's how some how big some shark teeth are. Now you might be thinking, what do sharks and their teeth have to do with a Bible story or a Bible lesson or a Bible verse? Well, oh. 
Give me one second. Because, okay, there, sorry. I had a problem with my things falling. Um, so, God has given the sharks an unusual ability to replace their teeth. And not only does did God give and take care of the sharks in an interesting and unique way, he took care of the people in the Bible in interesting ways, and he takes care of us in interesting and unique ways. A couple of those things, those Bible th stories that you might, I'm just trying to get in here, um, that you might have heard before, or were when the Israelites were wandering around in the desert. They were in the desert for 40 years. And God took care of them. Their shoes and their clothes never wore out. Their shoes and their clothes never wore out. So that was just something unique that God did to help the Israelites. And there's a story in the Bible about a man named Elijah and God took care of Elijah in a very unique way he sent birds to bring him bread and meat to feed him when he was when he was in the wilderness and so there's a bunch of examples of God's protection in the Bible and so it helps us to remember that God always takes care of us it may not always seem like it but he's always taking care of us and sometimes he takes care of us in amazing unique ways like he takes care of the shark's teeth in an amazing and unique way and the scripture verse that is with this devotion that I want to read to you is found in 1 Samuel chapter 12 verse 16 I'm going to get to it in just a second let me finish this and it says now then stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to do before your eyes so stand still and see what the Lord is about to do so God does lots of things takes care of the animals in unique ways and takes care of us in unique ways. So we should have our shark mouth colored now. I did not grab my, oh, it's right here, my white paint. So now we're not gonna paint our shark uh, all black. We don't want our, you might wanna use a different color, but I'm gonna make a gray color. And so you might, Think you want a blue shark or pink shark doesn't matter I'd love to see your pictures of your finished sharks though and you could post them as a comment on the video so after we have our mouth we're gonna paint our shark head so to do that I'm gonna I want a gray color so I'm gonna take some of my black and I'm gonna mix it with some of my white now black is a very strong color so you only need to have a tiny bit of black to mix with the white you you'll want to have more of the white than the black because the black will be a very strong color I hope you can see how I'm mixing so I'm just taking some of the white and a tiny bit of black and I'm mixing it and look now I've got a gray color see that so remember if and if you have a color that you think it's too dark like maybe you have a blue and you want your shark to be blue but it's too dark of a blue you can mix it with a little bit of white and that makes it lighter Okay, so now I think that's a pretty good gray. And so now I'm going to take my gray paint and I'm just going to, I'm going to paint, I'm going to go close to my line. And if I go on my black line and I feel like I need to fix it up a bit after the paint is dry, I can go back over the line with my black marker just to kind of 
darken up the line a bit and that should help oh that's really cool so if you see here I didn't quite mix that part on my brush all the way so I've got like a black streak through my shark I think it looks kind of cool though so also if you don't mix your colors like if you don't mix it all the way on your brush that's fine too because you kind of get some unique little random lines like that and it's kind of cool I'm just going to turn my shark this way so I can get around his mouth better and I'm staying I'm trying not to get any paint on his white teeth because we want his white teeth to really stand out I gotta mix a little bit more over here um we want his white teeth to really stand out so try not to get those with whatever color you're painting because what makes this picture really cool is his big old white teeth come up here and I might if I get some paint on his nostrils I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go back over that with my black marker I just have to mix a little more I didn't mix quite enough so I'm having to go back and get some more paint and remember you've heard me say this before if you've been in my class don't get paint on the danger zone part of your brush, which is that metal part. You don't want to get paint all right there. Then you'll have a big gloppy mess. But you do want to be careful to spread your paint out also. We don't want to leave puddles of paint because then it'll just be a big mess. We don't want a big mess. So we're just careful that the paint we do get on our brush, that we smooth it out spread it out as far as we can before we get more paint on our brush okay and I'm having to mix me a little bit more let's see go around his eyes these are kind of hard to do it's hard to go around this but that's okay because if we go over it see like I just went over that I'm gonna have to fix that with the black sharpie but that'll be okay All right, so let's see here, a little bit more black, okay, I'm going to come down here and we're going to paint this, Just trying really hard not to get on his teeth, I don't want his teeth to be super white. So they'll show up really, really well. All right. Okay. And again, if you don't have paint or you don't want to paint, you can do this same drawing and color it with markers or colored pencils or crayons or oil pastels or whatever other kinds of coloring things you have it's perfectly fine and I do hope you will post pictures of your finished sharks as a comment on the video so that we can all see just trying to finish this I'm almost done and I'm running out of paint. I might have to pour me a little bit more white. Oops. Hang on. Let me turn it this way. Because I'm painting the bottom now. i got to get a tiny bit more white paint out of here. There we go. Got to mix it. A little bit of that black. Okay. Almost 
done here. And then our next project is going to be um, a fish. So we're kind of got our kind of got a little ocean theme going here this week. But later, um, our next project will be a fish, fish doodles, I believe, which is going to be a fun thing that I can't wait to show you because this will be something that you'll be able to do super easy anytime. Like you could do it if you're waiting at a doctor's appointment or wherever. It'll be a fun little thing that I can't wait to show you. So there we go. There we have it. There's our shark. If you wanted to paint your background blue or something like he's in the water, you could do that, but that's up to you. So I can't wait to see your sharks. Remember to post a picture as a comment, and we'll see you later on this week for our fish doodles. Bye.